there are some moms now that are in communities, mom communities, and they are talking about the reason why they have gone back to they use organic cotton to make diapers, and they are using uh, the, the reusable diapers that you wash and use on their baby skin. And those babies, most of them, they don't get diaper rashes. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to Pediatrics to Go. I remain Francisca, your co-host, and with me here, your trusted pediatrician, Dr. Ekwase Sanusi. So she, today she's going to be talking about the common reasons for diaper rashes in babies. Thank you, Francisca. So we're going to talk about diaper rashes today because that's a common reason we see um, babies. Uh, that's a common complaint we see in babies. Now, diaper rashes are actually commoner in children who wear diapers, and the reason is in the past, when people used to wear the diapers that were washed, nappies, we used to call it. Yes. <laughs> people did not used to get as much diaper rash as they do now. And the reason is, um, you have to remember that diapers are made from synthetic silicone, like all these granules. If you ever put, take a diaper apart, it has all kinds of stuffing in there to withhold the urine so that the baby, when the baby pees or poops, the urine is not like, um, well, the poop is not getting getting into the clothes and soiling or coming out and soiling the baby's clothes. Now, all those chemicals can actually cause irritation of the baby's um, skin, especially if the diaper is not changed as frequently as it should. When babies have diarrhea, the diarrhea sometimes is kind of acidic and it burns the, the baby's uh, diaper area. And that's another reason why we see a lot of diaper rashes. But sometimes even just... Um, what you're using to clean the baby's, uh, the wipes. Sometimes babies might have sensitive skin, use certain wipes, you can have a rash, and some children react to certain types of diapers. Like um, some children, when they were using a certain diaper, and then they had to change because it wasn't in the market, and they started using a new diaper, mm -hmm. there's something in that, in the chemical components of the um, diaper filling that they might react to. So that's one, another reason that we see a lot of diaper rashes. Now, when children are on antibiotics, Antibiotics, remember, kills uh, bacteria. When children have antibiotics, it takes, it kills all the good bacteria on the skin. We have good bacteria living on our skin. It's in symbiosis, uh, basically in harmony with our skin. So when an antibiotic is given, it kills the good bacteria and it gives the yeast in the skin a lot of space to grow. So babies can have diaper rashes just from having a yeast infection from the side effects of antibiotics. So many times when a child comes in with a diaper rash, we also want to look, especially a baby that has been on antibiotics, we want to look inside their mouth to make sure that they don't have thrush, which is also a yeast infection that is a secondary uh, side effect of taking antibiotics. So if your baby has a diaper rash, always look in the mouth. You might see like white patches in the mouth, um, which is uh, what we call oral thrush. Because oral thrush can be, start in the mouth, go all the way on the inside of the baby's intestines and come out in the diaper area, and then the baby will have a diaper rash, which is usually red and flat, sometimes bumpy, but usually it's quite irritated for, for the baby. Like a scar, like a peeling. Of yeah, the sometimes the baby's skin peels. Now, newborn babies, when they're born, you know, they're like peeing and pooping a lot. Mm -hmm. So you're changing them more frequently. Sometimes a newborn baby, especially if you're, they're breastfed, they might poop like five to 10 times a day. And because you're constantly changing them, all that rubbing and friction, it actually it can peel their skin. So a lot of newborn babies have diaper rashes too. So what we usually recommend is barrier creams and ointments. Personally, I like A and D ointment, which is um, castor oil with vitamin A and D in it. And the reason I, I don't have any shares in, in, the, <laughs> in, the, in the company that makes A and D, but anything that is uh, non-irritating to the baby that is clear, I personally recommend it, like even your Vaseline or your A&D ointment, just because you're not cleaning the baby's skin extra, especially if it's like zinc oxide is fine, which is your uh, common diaper rash cream, the white ones. But if your baby has a diaper rash, I think the best way to prevent the rash from getting worse is to use the Clair ointments or the Vaseline, simple Vaseline or A&D ointment, which is my preferred choice personally. Yeah. And the reason is you're not cleaning the baby's skin extra to get off the whites and it's all clear so you can see if the diaper rash is getting better or if it's getting worse. And then airing out the, the skin so that at least, you know, take the diaper off and give the baby's um, butt some air so that the diaper, uh, the skin of the diaper can basically heal on its own. So less is more. Try not to change the baby's uh, diaper too often. Well, you want to not put the diaper on in the first place. Mm -hmm. 
And then if you need to clean the baby, rinse the wipes first and then clean the diaper area. So that way they are cleaning more with uh, water wipes rather than the chemicals that go on the wipes. So just opening up the skin, airing the skin out as much as possible, minimizing, changing and uh, cleaning too often. What, because if they are not wearing the diapers, they are not really changing. So, and then um, just making sure that you're using a barrier cream and a lot of Vaseline or A&D ointment. And anytime they pee or poop, their skin is not irritated anymore. And most times babies do well. I also get, I also recommend to get cotton balls and just use water to clean the baby instead of wipes because that, those cotton balls are milder on the skin and it helps. If the child has been on antibiotics and has a yeast infection, then we do the uh, over-the-counter, uh, actually we do prescription mm -hmm. uh, yeast medicine. We have your popular nystatin or uh, some countries, they use Lotrimin. But either way, you want to go ahead and see your doctor and they'll prescribe what they think is best for your baby. So that's really um, the commonest reasons that we see diaper rashes. Uh, listening to all this, I can understand why, why, um, why our... Um grandmothers would prefer the nappy, you know, like all this stress of zinc, or like nobody cares. <laughs> They're just tired, you know, they'd rather watch the nappy. Guess what? And, you know, just... You know, everybody went to, oh, let's all wear diapers and that was the uh, disposable diapers, get rid of it. There are some moms now that are in communities, mom communities, and they are talking about the reason why they have gone back to, they use organic cotton to make diapers and they are using... Uh, the, the reusable diapers that you wash and use on their baby skin. And those babies, most of them, they don't get diaper rashes. Wow. So a lot of people are going back to the old, old ways practice. where we were washing our baby's diapers. Well, I, when I was growing up and <laughs> all my siblings, I remember the pride of my mom because she's Jamaican. And oh. the, the Jamaican thing was, oh, uh, let's see if there are clean people in this house. Look at the diapers. Is it nice and clean and white? <laughs> and they used to use like bleach and, no, and nappy sand and some like bluish discoloration, uh, bl bluish um, thing. But the white side of the baby's nappy where the oh, powder yeah, you were. Yeah, there's the cloth itself and the layer. It like, was actually a square. Oh, and the one I know like this and then you have to tie it by the ends. Yes. Yeah. They, there are different ways, but this was a square oh. that you'd fold in half and then you'd kind of like put the long part of it. It would be a triangle when you fold it. You put the long part at the back yes, of the baby. Yes, that's true. And then you the, fold one part, the other part, and then you I mean, pin it. You use the, uh, what's it called? The uh, safety pin. The big safety pin. pin that you use the um, linen thing. Yes. That's nylon kind of cloth to tie it around in case the pin falls off. Well, I yeah, feel that's yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so now some moms are going back to that, oh, wow. and they're they're very excited because it's like I save money. I'm not buying diapers all the time, mm -hmm. and then my baby doesn't get a diaper rash, and we're using organic cotton mm -hmm. for the baby. And a lot of those babies, guess what? They don't get diaper rashes. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Dr. Sadis, for enlightening us about common reasons about diaper rash. So. Yeah, if your baby has do have diaper rash, you should not fret. You should just like follow the instructions that we, in this video, and also still consult your doctors in case of you know prolonged diaper rash. So thank you very much. Until next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>